while I'm putting my hand wraps on, I'm just going to give a quick tutorial, unplanned tutorial on how to put on your hand wraps. So I'm just going to turn the camera like that. I like to just take my hand wraps and just unroll it completely because this is how I roll it with this side in there. Um, and then I take that part that was tangled up, curled up. And what you want to do is this part here where the stitching is on this side, okay, not this part, the stitching is on this side, you want to face that down. So you put that your thumb through the hoop and then the part of the stitching is face down. What you're then going to do is you're going to go across your wrist near the join, okay, you're going to bring it near the join and it's going to come one, maybe two, then you're going to go a little bit lower, just a little bit lower down there and you're going to go one, two, then I like to just come straight across, straight across up here, that's probably a very bad camera angle, but um, come across my knuckles. I'm, what you want to do is open up your fingers as wide as you can so then it doesn't, the wraps don't wrap your fingers up too close like that, okay? So we're going to open up our fingers quite wide and we're going to take it across. What some people tend to do is they um, they tend to put most of the wrapping, they overlap the wrapping on the knuckles, but that just takes too much time for me. Sometimes I can't be bothered doing that. Um, and then it, it's less wrapping in between the hand because you want to grip your hand close and it blocks off. And this uh, method I'm showing you kind of blocks off um, that ability to kind of grip quite nice and tightly, but it's not such a big deal. So I tend to just go across there a couple of times, then I'm going to go, um, actually just once, then I'm going to go over my thumb like so to lock my thumb in okay I went over just once like that and then I went over again and I'm gonna come through my fingers like that okay I'm gonna come by that um, by the thumb and I'm gonna go again over the finger I'm gonna come up. so between all of them I'm gonna go again across my thumb to lock that thumb in one more time and maybe I'll just go across to cover that stitching between the fingers just to cover it once and then um, finish off the wrapping um, by the um, wrist. So this here is just to kind of protect the knuckles and just to keep the knuckles spaced out so the hands don't get closed in. Um, protect the join of the um, thumb and I'm just finishing off um, on my wrist with the extra wrapping. There's not, there's not too much um, wrapping between the hand but you know it, it's all quite tight. I just like to undo all of it. Um, do it from this side. Oops, the stitching goes down. One, two, one, two. I like to just go up here to my knuckles just over it once, then I go across from my knuckles that way, under my thumb, then I go around my wrist one time. This isn't the best tutorial, because the camera angle is not very good. And then once I've gone around that knuckle, that thumb, I'm then going to go straight under through my finger, one finger between the middle, one more around that wrist again just keep everything over here quite tight because I've been brought everything here keep it quite tight I'm going to go over to cover the stitching with just one I'm then going to go over the thumb one more time, just 
to lock the thumb in like that again. And then finish off on the, um, the wrist. Cool, so that's my hand wrap, just nice and tight. Not the best tutorial because of the camera angle, but anyways. <laughs>